actually ever been to the Lip Balm Show before. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming back. Oh, I know. I must owe you some money or something. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm gonna kinda catch everybody up, so I know you've probably heard this song before. You might have even heard this story before, because I, uh, I grew up in the South. I was, um, from, I'm from North Carolina, and my mom is a very Southern lady. And so when I told her I was gonna move to New York City, she, uh, she just kinda shook her head and went, what the heck are you gonna do there? And I said, well, you know, Mom, I'm gonna make it on Broadway. Like Frank said, I'm gonna do it my way. She said, no way. And I said, yeah, well, that's how I ended up in Subway. <laughs> I was a Subway musician, you know, I was Spring Street, Uptown Side, number six train. Boom, boom, staying clear in the closing doors. <laughs> Every night about nine o'clock, I'd take my guitar and I'd put them up my guitar case. And I'd just start making noises in the subway. You know, and it sounds good when you just make a bunch of noise in the subway because it's like a long tiled toilet. <laughs> it's the smell that gets that part away. <laughs> and every 15 minutes or so, the train would pull in. Boom, boom, stand clear the closing door. People would get out. Boom, boom, stand clear the closing door. The train, the train would pull away.
mothers would clutch their children and walk away very fast.